Hello and welcome into Diplomacy is not an option. This promises to be an RTS sandbox, city builder, they are billions type sort of thing. I'm really excited to check it out today. Uh, I, it looks absolutely wild, an absurd amount of units on the screen. I, I do want to spend some time, as always, talking about kind of our opening intro here. Uh, really good compositional artwork. We have these light. Uh, light beams coming in from the windows, providing high contrast, leading you straight into a face. We always key into faces, uh, leading you in into here, into your options. Good contrast on here. Good hover effects. That uh, noise shader uh, a signifier on your hover is so good. Really satisfying. Good shade of red. Typographic logo, not calling attention to itself. We know we're in the game. That's totally fine. It's just reinforcing its brand identity. Uh, you can see that they are also being very good about their menu placement. They have the gameplay selections up here and then chunked together options, credits, and quit. That's exactly what you want to see. Good space between them. They even add in that little diamond as a visual separator. Very, very, very good. I also want to call out options menu. First off, this little um, signifier for your selected state is really, really neat, but absolutely hilarious. Diplomacy is not an option. Off. No, <laughs> I thought that was incredibly clever. Okay, that's it. We're going to go ahead and jump in to this. Uh, I, I, I like the restraint that they showed here. They, they didn't blow this up. This is something that I have struggled with like in my game jam projects of wanting to make that menu really big and obvious. I, I love how small they have made their text, but also how big they have made the touch targets, right? You can see how far out I can actually hover here to get on top of the, the thing. So really good, really good there. What to call you, my lord? Fox McHollow Ignatius. Oh, it locks us off there, bummer. Uh, Fox McHollow Rutherford. Fox McRutherford, you gotta fit in Rutherford, okay. So by naming yourself, this is also very clever. They are getting you to kind of invest in yourself a little bit. They're probably setting themselves up for leaderboard. Uh, really good stuff. Um, good UI art here. You can see the corners. We've got like this sort of um, curtain rod going across with the nice uh, shapes of these kind of fractal uh, spirals. It's almost a little uh, Roman, a little Mesoamerican. It's kind of interesting, kind of grapes, kind of indicating royalty coming down. The leaf, also a very uh, good emblem of, uh, like if you look into heraldry, uh, symbology, that you're gonna find a lot of stuff like that. We have a very subtle X up here. I can't click off of it, which is interesting, so I have to click the X. Uh, Fox. McRutherford, interesting button style here, very dynamic with these cut corners, but then also the inset cuts on either side with that diamond. A little interesting. Um, th so they're definitely going for that diamond shape all over the place, right? Repeated shapes is a very important visual design principle. So we have repeated shapes here in the diamond, in these uh, uh, fractal sort of things that I've been talking about. Our X button is a diamond. We have the diamond over here. So we're definitely reinforcing that. Oh, and you can even see it here on the king's throne. So really interesting. Let's keep an eye out for that diamond. Whoa, look at all this. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we can have like different profiles. Okay. Get tutorial? Diplomacy is not an option. It's not the easiest game to play in order to avoid psychological trauma. And for the safety of your PC, some people may find surprising ways to deal with anger and despair. I highly recommend you to play the tutorial. Uh, very funny, get you to read that. Um, also bringing an I kind of makes it feel like the developer is talking to us directly. I think that's clever. Take me there, I think I'll pass. Good little iconography here. Uh, oh, and the diamonds once again there, interesting. Yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's do it. I, I do wish this had a little bit more space between things. These buttons are a little close to each other. I could see potentially, you know, accidentally clicking on things possibly, or just a little micro moment of slight confusion. Also, it's a little interesting that we have the background being uh, grayed out here. Whereas when we had this, yeah, there's no background fade out here, which is interesting. Okay. Okay. Let's dive in here. So we have seven tutorials. Oh my, this is gonna be a lot. 
Uh, good worth popcorn and beer, the easiest challenge we could make. Repulse all enemy attacks, kill all enemies in the area. Um, we've got some kind of nested visual architecture here. It's okay. There's maybe a better way to do that. Whenever you're like putting uh, like a pop-up inside of a pop-up, you get nervous, right? Um, I think this works, but there's also probably maybe a cleaner way to do this. Mission enemies, text, attacking waves. This is a little interesting that we have this center aligned, and then these are um, pinned up against each other in a single line. I can understand why they did that, because you don't want mission enemies over here and then a big list of things that kind of looks a little awkward, but also this does too. You might look at maybe changing the typography of this, the header style, to be... Um, maybe a different section to try and break up that information architecture a little bit. Size 104 by 104. That doesn't mean anything to me right now, which is interesting that they're displaying it on the tutorial. If you were going for like a really guided tutorial experience, maybe you don't even display this screen and then take them straight into the first one. I don't know. It, it, they're, they're interesting, interesting things to, to consider. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Select, you can even select difficulty on the tutorial. My goodness. Okay, well, let's let's dive in. We've been doing enough analysis. Let's, let's see what the game actually is. Okay, I like that they have the tips on the loading menu and then also let you actually read the tip before moving forward. That's good. That tip means nothing to me right now. We're just going to jump in. <laughs> okay, easiest challenge we could make. Mission objectives. Repulse all enemy attacks. Kill all enemies in the area. Show mission objectives. Sure. All right, I got to move my camera just a smidge. All right, let's, let's, whoa. All right, there we go. Bring us down a little bit more. Okay, great. This is not a tutorial. This is an easy challenge. I am not being guided whatsoever on what I'm supposed to be doing right now. So we have population. Okay, so this is like, this is very old school RTS. We can build buildings. We can add up to five citizens. Can I like pause? Yeah, let's pause the game while we kind of explore this UI. So uh, it looks very clean. We've got very good UI art here. Once again, this kind of filigree, filling up the in-between spaces, making it all feel connected. Uh, this bar in the middle with the lighting in that middle is really clever. This is just a tiny version of the curtain rod, actually. You can see the little dot right there at the ends. It's interesting that we don't have the curtain rods on the top here as well, but we do have it over here over our speed controls. I do like that we get fast forward. That's nice. So we have here, this is what I'm assuming is going to be like your building controls. And then this is what? Economy, maybe? Automation? I'm not totally sure what these different sections represent. And I'm assuming this is where we're going to see all of our units that we select. So if I like click and drag on here, there we go. Okay, so this is context specific menu. This is your global menu. Okay, so if I select this, yeah, now we get different things. So deselected is kind of your generic building menu. Man, there's so many things in here. Holy cow, this is a complex game. You don't see games like this very often. You don't see complex RTS games like this very often. This is really interesting. So we have population growth, we have food consumption, so we have to make sure we're bringing in enough food. I'm assuming, oh, okay, middle mouse click to rotate. We're going to be able to fish. Yeah, we have 210 food here. This is very, like, Warcraft style. My goodness. Uh, we're probably going to be harvesting berries and trees and all that. Wow, I feel, I feel like a little kid again. Cart with wood, just a little gimme there. Uh, we can't select our villagers, so they were just going to automatically go out and do things. That's nice. I was kind of getting nervous. I was going to have to say, okay, you go do food, you go do wood. You did have to do that in previous uh, RTS games, which clearly uh, inspired this. We have iron and stone. Okay. And here are our resources. Stone. Yeah, I mean, that kind of visually matches, right? This is a refined version of this. Same colors. Same thing with... Well, not actually the same thing with iron. Iron is a different color, but I guess that does actually represent kind of the refined state. I don't know if that's worth the confusion or not, or the visual clarity, because we have just... It, I, I could maybe see it easy to miss some of these if they're right next to these other rocks. Now, they are quite lumpy. They did a good job of protruding them a little bit. I'm curious to see how that shakes out. Soul crystals used for spell casting. Gold can be obtained through trading in the market or found on the map. Okay, we have our free workers. Population are free workers. Can we assign them? Is that what, what we're missing here? 
We can summon Dark Knights for 120 seconds. That sounds right. So these are our special abilities. And they unlock more as we build this obelisk thing. Once again, we have that diamond right next to that tooltip. That's very interesting. Okay. Open market. Build market to trade. I wish that was not enabled then. I wish it had the same disabled signifier as we have down here. Whoa, look at this. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. We got a little bit of Path of Exile in here too. All right. Okay. Plus 10% building and repair speed. Plus 10% move speed. Let's definitely do that. Move speed. Get get resources coming in quicker. Focus on that icon. Okay, so now we have a, a radial uh, loading signifier there. That's nice. We can go back in. We can change it if we need to. Formations. Oh, my. Look at this. Troops will take their places according to the set formation once you give them that next order. Wow. There is a lot to this game. We have statistics you could just evaluate in the middle. Usually uh, in old school games, that would kind of come in at the very end, like on your win-loss screen. Really interesting. We can turn auto repair on or off. We can build selected building. Okay. Um, this isn't doing anything. Once again, I would like this to kind of be a little bit disabled if it's not actually actionable, right? So once I've selected something, enable this. Open all gates, close all gates. So we're going to be doing walls and everything. Jiminy Christmas. See, this is where the tutorial would be really nice because it would help me to like not focus on everything all at once and instead allow me to just kind of take simple concepts as they are. And you can see a, a problem here. This is stone. I can't... Oh, I have to mouse way down here. See, I, I, it's really... I, I could see that being very possible to miss if you're just in the heat of the game and you're trying to run around. Now, granted, they do have the pause function. That will help that. But uh, once again, curious to see how that shakes out. Okay, so we have our population buildings. We have a bunch of surplus workers, so I'm a little nervous to try and build that. We have upgraded houses on two and three. Classic organization here for buildings, but I don't know how much I love it. I'm curious how many times you're going to want to build a house one when you have house three unlocked, right? I wonder if they could just replace each other. I get that they cost more resources, but I'm curious how that economy is going to shake out. Are you ever going to build house one? And also, if you build house one, can you just upgrade to house two and three? Uh, I guess what I'm saying is this feels awkward that we have like this row here. And then I guess each of these is a row, isn't it? But then why would we have this empty space? Maybe we just haven't unlocked it. I don't know. All these questions I have going through my head uh, as a first time player of this feels very confusing. This feels very um, like a lot. I mean, it's a lot. They said straight up, this is not the easiest game to play. So these are things that maybe could be looked at to improve that beginner experience. Once again, I don't know the entire system yet. I don't know what constraints they have on their design or on their technology. So all of this is just first impressions. We can build a fisherman's hut. Let's definitely do that because we're going to need our food. And then um, a berry picker's house. Maximum number of workers one. It takes five seconds for a berry picker to harvest one food, after which he carries food to a granary or town hall. Wow. That is very specific. You are getting a lot of data in here. This is a game about optimization is what that is telling me. We're going to put this kind of in a centralized space, hopefully. Resource production. Let's get a lumber mill going over here. Oh, we can build straight up on top of lumber. Did I just lose wood by putting that there? And then a stone mine right there. Lovely. Okay, we got a whole bunch of stuff getting queued up, and I'm understanding that these are columns. I feel like another thing could be done in here to indicate these are columns, right? And that's why there are weird gaps in things. Um, and maybe this corresponds to, like, the level of your town hall. Like, you don't get a farm one until you have a town hall level two. So you could... I don't know, it's tricky. Because I was thinking you could, you could add in some tabs on the top and on the sides to say, like... This is your berry picker column. This is your fisherman's hut column. This is your farm column, right? Have little icons for each of them. And then have a little, you know, town level one, two, three. And that would really communicate that. That being said, it would shrink everything down a lot. And it would kind of only enhance that new player experience. And it wouldn't really do anything for the intermediate and above. And you do kind of want to design for that intermediate space, especially for a very complex game like this. 
you want to get people into that intermediate and expert stage. And that's what you're really going to be designing for. You do need to figure out a good on-ramp to get people into there quickly, but you don't want to have a detriment to your intermediate and experienced players for the sake of the beginner players. Okay. City development. Jeez, there's so much stuff you could build, like, right out of the gate. Builders don't stop working even when their builder's house is being upgraded. Okay, that sounds like something that's important, but, like, that I have no context for right now. Gravediggers find corpses on city streets, deliver them to the cemetery, and bury them, thereby significantly reducing the risk of diseases spreading. That sounds like something we're definitely going to want. Uh, so we need uh, a gravedigger's house and a cemetery. Place where the dead inhabitants of your settlement rest in peace. Destroying a cemetery may draw the wrath of its residents. That's hilarious. So you're going to want to be very careful about your city planning. Wow, there's so much to this. I say this all the time, but jeez. Building where food is stored. We do want the berries uh, close to the granary. So let's, I mean, let's just put the granary right next to our castle. I mean, that kind of makes sense. Put the food next to where the people are going to be looking for it. And then we can store resources with storage. We don't have enough money for that. We have advanced resource production, which we're not going to worry about that until later. We can build a barracks for swordsmen and archers. And then the obelisk, which will get us more spells. Uh, we can build walls, gates, and towers. Towers hold range troops, so towers are not innately... Jeez, we're 16 minutes in, and I haven't even like actually played the game yet. Additional defense, uh, watchtowers that are standalone from the towers, guard tower. What's the difference between a watchtower and a guard tower? Okay, so a watchtower is something like you scout with. It is something you put out in the wilderness, and it will let people know what's coming. Okay. Yeah, you can see the enemy approaching prematurely. And then this is like a defense structure. And then this is a big defense structure. Trebuchets. Jeez. Okay, all right. Let's kind of explore this all out. So we have our... Uh, what? Spear? Swordsman? That totally looks like a spear. Okay. Uh, uh, the hilt goes down quite quite long. Uh, and then we have our archers. Okay. Now we have four free workers. I don't see a way to select workers. I don't see a way to, like, tell them what to do. Uh, is this a game where we want to be scouting? Got 40 wood. Let's go ahead and pause. I think I'm going to try to build some walls. And let's use kind of the, the natural, uh, uh, there we go, you click and drag. Okay, so we need maybe like 100 wood before we can build that. Use the natural fortifications to help us uh, defend a little bit, reduce the resources we need in order to build things. Now we do, oh, we can dismiss, we can set up a patrol route, awesome. You, oh, oh, they're fighting stuff. They're fighting dudes. What are these? Rebel with pitchfork. Oh my. Do we find, like, are there other civilizations? I guess I don't even know really who we're fighting. Uh, so we're getting a lot of resources. That's cool. Are we fighting people? Is this a low fantasy or just straight up fictional world? Kill all enemies in the area. Okay. I mean, we are definitely obliterating these rebels, and they look like they have horns. I mean, it kind of seems like it's fantasy of some sort. Research complete. I guess I just assumed it was going to be zombies because of the sheer amount of things that start coming at you. I mean, it's kind of a lot, but that just looks like a normal dude. You just look like you have crazy hair. All right. You guys keep pillaging the land. Uh, diplomacy truly never was an option. And what's our widow? We have a 98 wood. Can we build a wall here? I'm a little, okay, so you click and then, so you don't click and drag, you click and then it will automatically uh, start moving things. Okay, finish placing, there we go. And, and here we have our control tips, okay. Set middle point, oh, interesting. So you're supposed to set a middle point first? We gotta play around with that because that seems weird. Oh, yeah. All right, let's grab that. Oh, oh, it's nighttime, that's definitely when bad guys come out. All right, so we have some more dudes to go find over there, but we're not gonna deal with that right now. Build up the walls, build up the walls. Why do we still have four workers not doing anything? So we can add or remove workers to buildings. Increase worker radius. Holy cow, this is really intense. Wow. Our 
repair. We can upgrade. All right. Um, consuming 25 food per day, per day. And we gained like 30 or so. So that's feeling good. We definitely... Um, can we build a gate into a wall? Can we have this wall and then like put a gate into it or we're gonna have to like demolish the wall that would be a big usability thing for me I, I really want to be able to just place things into it I hope I hope I hope that that's the way it's gonna work okay so we got our food consumed I would have appreciated some sort of signifier of like you know this icon expanding or the the numbers expanding having a little minus 30 floating there just to indicate hey yes this actually did happen all troops are under attack Okay, yeah, I think we're okay. Yeah, it does feel a little gross to just go and murder a bunch of random rebels. <laughs> just wholesale. So that title is actually quite important. Uh, restrict iron storage, stone storage, and wood storage. Interesting. So we're clearing out this, fo this forest over here. All right, let's grab these crystals. Sure. Show me that. All, All right. Are under attack. Oop. Ah. Let's grab that, and then... What? Oh, those are chickens! Ah, oh, chickens! Bravely ran away, away. Let's see, can we put a gate in here? Can we just throw a great gate right in the middle? Yes! Awesome! Great! I'm so glad they did that. Oh, man. That makes walls so much better to interact with. This is a lot of dudes. I don't know if we're going to be able to take all this. Uh, I mean, we are tough, but this is a lot of dudes. We lost a soldier. Okay, I think we're going to clean them out. Uh, especially with the archers. In fact, why don't we pull these guys back and let the archers just go to town, right? Control one. Uh, control two. One, two. Good. Okay. And then we've got our control groups up here. Good, 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 good. Cool. One, two, three. Uh, one. Bring you guys back. Uh, archers, kill this guy. Great, whole group, go kill them. Okay. This, yeah, you're definitely gonna be wanting to use the pause function a lot here, because you, you have to manage the base, you have to do your micro on your units. That You know, this is actually, yeah. There's a lot here. Okay, let's close the gate. So our range units get additional firing range and observing range. All right, I think we're at the point where we need to start building um army buildings or or maybe another lumber mill because it seems like we're a little bit let's throw the lumber mill right there i guess to play because we're, we're getting a lot of units that are just not doing anything so maybe we just need a lot more resources being used um We don't want another house. We're not even using the people that we have. Hold on. Space to pause. Good. Whoa, that's a lot of dudes. Run away, swordsmen. In fact, let's let's summon some of these guys. Because we've, we've been getting a lot of these. Okay, archers. Okay, these guys are doing work. Jeez. All right. Uh, what are our resources at? 36? Let's build another storage, I guess. Because I think we're going to be running into that problem somewhat soon. I don't know how much we can store. Oh, we can actually store quite a lot. <laughs> we can store 400. Well, we don't need that. Oh, well. Well done, everyone. You fought through the night. Got it. Lord and Lord. Let's go. Oh, and we have research, too. We Oh, man. This is a hardcore RTS. This is a real thing. 
Let's go ahead and get uh, faster dudes, faster resources gathering. And it looks like we do get some amount of regen over time. Oh, there's the diseases. <laughs> So is there a strategy where you run guys into your enemy's base, have them die, and then cause a bunch of diseases on everyone? That sounds messed up. <laughs> that's the Necromancer playthrough. Now we are getting this icon on the minimap. I'm assuming that is an invasion that's gonna be coming our way. So let's pull our troops back. We're gonna build uh, some fortifications here. Yeah, set middle point. It's so... I don't know why we're setting the middle point. Okay. Throw the wood wall over to there. Finish placing. There we go. Okay. Get all that... Man, we are still not using a ton of our dudes. Uh, we don't even need more food, though. Uh, more, more lumber mills, I guess? H how many lumber mills can we actually support here? It supports two people each. Oh, I just set a waypoint, actually. Oops. Okay, there we go. So this is what we want them to harvest, this green tile. And then we can shrink that, okay, or grow it. Cool. So we can shrink it because we don't want them like going out over here. We can expand into that at a later time. That's neat. Okay, that's a really good signifier. I like the grid. I like this. This works. Um... Remove work target link. I don't know what work target link is. And I'm curious why this upper left is open. This kind of, this column makes a little bit of sense because we have upgrade, repair, and destroy. It's kind of meta to the building. And this is kind of our worker management sort of stuff. But why is this top left one left open? I, I'm curious about some of the decisions they made on here. I'm not saying they're wrong. I'm curious about them. All right, let's get advanced toolkits. Better building and repair speed sounds great. Oh, we already got the wood uh, structures all the way up. Wow. Okay. Do we go for the obelisk? I mean, we're not using stone for anything else. And I'm starting to get curious. Are Can we just load up every square with buildings, or is that going to reduce uh, our foot traffic? Is that going to cause problems? That's another question that I have. Okay. Move out. I don't know what that means. Can we can we like bring people into the town hall and make it a defensive fortification? And then we have upgrade for 150 wood and 100 stone. Jeez. We've got three lumber mills up. How many lumber mills can one civilization need? I guess we'll just throw a lumber mill like way out there. That This is really... The, the high amount of villagers and the low amount that each thing can handle really drives you to uh, expand a lot further than your defenses. And that's, honestly, that's pretty compelling. That's really interesting that, oh, okay, never mind. I was going to say, I don't know when these guys are coming. We're just going to leave. Let's build a tower here, I guess. And then how many, how many can, uh, can a tower hold? Nine range troops or one war machine. Okay. Yeah, so they're really forcing you to expand outside of any fortifications you can possibly build in order to get a strong economy. And that's that's quite interesting because that is a problem that lots of old RTS has had. Uh, of, uh, turtling. The, the, the most powerful strategy was just to hole up in your base the whole time and survive until you build up a massive army because it didn't matter. You had all the resources you needed right next to you. There was never a, a reason to venture out beyond things. All right, so here we got these guys. Hey, hey, you're not supposed to take the shortest path. You're supposed to come to the gate. <laughs> all right. Uh, swordsman, come over here. Yeah, I mean, they're under attack, but they're also doing pretty okay. What is this? What does that mean? Oh, it's full. Can we not store food here? Okay, so we want another granary. Granaries store food. Okay. A builder's house. I don't necessarily know what that means. Let's get a second granary. 
right next to the other one. Not too nice. All right, cool. Well, we have successfully fended off the attack. So let's go ahead and grab uh, all these guys. We have to click the button to move them out, which I guess makes sense. You don't want to accidentally like have people in a control group and then have them you know put something in a fortification you don't notice and then you're leaving a tower unmanned i can see that it it is some extra friction that i'm not in love with but i can understand why they did it you know i still don't understand what work target link means and those guys came during the daytime so i'm also kind of curious what the uh oh why are you all the way over here? <laughs> are you? What? Okay. Uh, I'm curious what nighttime really means. Can we attack move? No. Control, right click. Shift, right click. Alt, right click. Oh, alt gives us resources. That's nice. Okay. Is that going to give us stone too? Because that might, yeah, that's going to address my gripe from earlier. Cool. Love it. And we have a ton of wood. What do we do with all this wood? Let's definitely get a barracks going. I guess we'll butt it up right against the obelisk, because why not? And then, I don't know, a builder's house? We'll put the builder's house next to the, like, the supplies. That kind of makes sense, right? Can I rotate buildings for aesthetics? Yes, good. Q and E to rotate. All right. Because we don't want his house like emptying into the berries. That's not cool. All right, we're at the edge of the map over here. Rad. I wonder if you can, like, hunt. I'm not getting a bar over that, so maybe not. Maybe it's just fishing and berries. This is a pescatarian society. Yeah, we're, we're doing great on food. We really don't need more food, and we're getting a ton of wood now. So let's get some more swordsmen. Well, uh, let's just get one, two more swordsmen, and then we'll start pumping up the rest in... Uh, in uh, what, what what's it called archers because i think archers are going to be huge right those are going to be the things that man the battlements and and deal with all that so i am so wary of you know what let's let's block this off let's just see what happens we're going to build a whole ton of houses let's see if people can still navigate through here because if they can then it is a matter of placing things most efficiently in space not needing to really worry about blocking things oh, yeah. off okay start moving over here okay you guys can come over here too it's good that they give you such a warning so you really can you really can explore the map and feel like you can come back safely i remember playing the conan survivors game and that was somewhat similar that game was actually really good uh, I, I don't really know why it never quite took off. It was pretty difficult, but it was it was pretty well made. Not gonna lie. If you're looking for a more kind of underrepresented or, or less known about version of this type of game, the Conan game was really good. And I'm kind of just waiting for this game to become what it is in the screenshots. There is so much base building and it takes so long. I this is definitely the sort of experience you have for uh sorry, got a focus mode, focus the micro. Alright. Um This is an investment of an experience, is what this is. This is not a quick roguelike where you jump in for an hour. This is a we're going we're gonna to spend an afternoon on this. We're going to build something incredible, and it's going to feel incredibly rewarding. All right, so we got all of our houses built. Are, are we going to see anyone just walking through them? No. Oh, no. So you do need to worry about this. So they're going to have to walk all the way around. Okay, so uh, can we click on this? Uh, okay, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Where's our storage? Let's build a storage hut right there. 
for all of the stuff over here. Okay, so now I'm starting to see this kind of decentralized understanding. Okay, I'm liking the flow of this. This is, it's very different than what we may expect, but it is really solid. It is a different type of game than is, so to speak, the meta right now, but that doesn't stop it from being really, really good, right? Bring in another set of meat shields here for our archers to get some support on. Let's throw down a, a satellite blast right there. Jeez, oh my gosh, you control it with your mouse. Wow. Okay, so it doesn't hit buildings, but it does hit... Hey, walking corpses? Where did these guys come from? Okay, um, swordsman. Uh, no, archers, you keep going. Although we have lost all of our, our soldiers over there. Get these guys over. Stop them. Are these tough? Are these like big means? No, no. They're 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 more or less fine. Okay. Cool. So now we got a wave coming from the bottom. Let's get rid of these guys. So yeah, the, the objective of each round is domination. It is global domination, right? Our units are in combat. Units are in combat. Oh, yeah. Okay, pick up the crystal and go knock this out. So that's two two bases knocked out. That's good. We have 13 peasants. Let's get a whole bunch of archers. Because the, the dark knights seem like really good meat shields, and they last for a really long time. So I'm feeling pretty comfy cozy about that decision. Let's... Uh, Build this here. I, once again, I still don't understand why it's saying to do half waypoints. That doesn't seem really valuable to me, but whatever. Okay. Build out that section of wall. Man, we have a ton of resources now. That really snuck up on me. <laughs> Let's throw you guys in that tower for now. We are running out of storage over here. Wow. We, we are going to need to build a gate in here. And that's why, okay, that's another reason why the gates should be open and closed. Because you need to have supply lines. Got it. Okay. It. Oh, and here's our timer for when the wave is coming in. That's what I was, like, looking for last time. Great. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, let's throw a tower right here. And a tower right... Uh... Here? Not the right place for this building. Let's build it right there. Okay. We got 47 seconds left. Let's get our archers kind of geared up. I do need them to build this tower, though. <laughs> Can I set you as priority? Yes. Set top priority. There we go. Good. I'm really glad that existed. And that was exactly where I would expect it to be. That was very nice. Very nice. That, see, that's good UX design. When someone can just think, I bet I would get to that here, and then you just get to it there, that is a good sign. That is a good sign that they have done good work there. Okay. Uh, let's get these guys over here. Well, actually, you may not need, need, need to. You can probably get in it from the other side. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll build some gates over here. Okay. I'm liking how this is kind of shaping up. This is feeling pretty secure. We'll run these guys, uh, I mean, we'll just, whatever, you will just hang out, I guess. What do we have a huge excess of now? We, we have a ton of unit, uh, units that we can recruit. I mean, why not? All right, here come the baddies. We're on uh, day, oh, the enemy will attack on day 10, and we have the days up here. Okay, I, I might prefer this up here. You'd probably have to duplicate some information, like the wave icon would have to be up here as well. And that might be a little confusing, so I can kind of get it. But maybe then move the day counter on top of the uh, mini-map. Because it just it feels like we have these pieces of information very far apart from each other. And it, like, it may not actually need to be that way. Okay, there's a lot of, lot of shielded dudes. Flag bearers. What do the flag bearers do?
Ooh, we are we are taking some hits out here. Ooh, ooh, we are taking some hits out here though. Let's get our swordsman out here. We are definitely clearing them out. I wonder if the trees can intercept arrows, because that that would be honestly kind of rad to have an incentive to clear out the forest. That would be pretty neat. Double clicking on a unit troop gives you everything in that unit. Uh, all, all the similar units that are there. That's great. Man, we've got a ton of archers. Oh, we have bury the dead to avoid epidemics. Find a new fishing spot. Okay. So can we move you? I don't think so. I think we just destroy you. And then we build a new fisherman's hut right there. And, oh, we don't have enough people. Okay. Let's go ahead and build some more houses. Uh, yeah, we can make a little alleyway over there. That's fine. Just have you live right up next against the wall. That sounds reasonable, right? <gasps> um, how's our stone? Stone's doing just fine. We have a full, like, half left. Uh, can we upgrade our place? Yes, we can. Big ups. Okay. Now it's day seven. Next wave is coming at day ten. So we can we can just evacuate all these dudes. We don't really need any of these to be filled up. Grab all of these. You're in a group two. And then everything together is group three. Okay. Group three. Go annihilate whoever lives over here. <laughs> it's It's a little weird that, like... The waves come from off-map. I kind of would prefer if they came from different civilizations. Because it feels like the only reason I would go exploring is just to satisfy this objective of killing the enemies in the way. And you can, I mean, you could get some resources right out of the gate. But it's kind of disconnected, right? Kill all enemies in the area definitely feels different from repulsing all the enemy attacks. Unless maybe that happens over time. Like, if you don't clear them out, maybe they will start to come after you. I don't know. Once again, this is all first impressions. Our troops are under attack. Okay, we've got a bunch of people available now. Let's build a uh, granary over here. And build a berry picker's house over here. Does the house give us... No, it takes up a worker. Does that mean it also gives us a worker, though? Like, there's that one up above it. Uh, oh, we do need to do the, the gravedigger, too. Let's put the gravedigger uh, on the outside of <laughs> the walls. <laughs> that sounds good to me. Hold, stop, attack, F. Okay, that's what I was looking for, the attack move. So we can do F, left click, and now they will just sweep across the land like wildfires. Look at all these archers. What's going to stand up against that? Nothing. Nothing's going to stand up against that. We are almost getting our level two town hall. I'm curious what this radius is that it's showing me. Worker radius. I'm curious where that's going to come into play. I mean, clearly it does come into play, but I'm curious what it's going to be. All right, we hit the edge of the map. Let's let's uh, let's clear out this little bit here, just in case there's some secret god slaying sword over there or something, right? Cool. Town hall is upgraded. So now theoretically we can upgrade all of our buildings. Okay, cool. We could upgrade to barracks level two. We can uh, upgrade our stone uh, gathering. We can upgrade our houses. Yeah. So I guess I'm. Confused, especially since we can upgrade things in bulk. Like, I just hit upgrade for every house that I could afford. Why do we have build house two and three? I guess you can start off at house two and three. And you can still build at house one. I don't know. It just, it it, it feels a little unnecessary to me still. I, 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 I can't quite conceptualize how to do it better. <laughs> but I'm not convinced that there's not a better way, if that makes sense which is uh, not a great space to be in. <laughs> Listen, this could probably be better, but it's going to take someone smarter than me to figure it out. It's not exactly where you want to live as, as a professional. 
<laughs> no, taking some time to think about it, consider it. I mean, it does follow in the line of the conventions that have been established by the old style of RTSs. I can understand it. I do still think it's a missed opportunity for new improvements. They're attacking our buildings. What? Who's attacking our buildings? Our Wait, who? Wh where? Who's... Who's who's attacking? Oh, the zombies! All right, Gravedigger, uh, let's expand you like a lot. <laughs> and upgrade you, sure, everyone gets upgrades. Okay, yeah, there's a bunch of zombies. We have a new wave coming up top in three minutes. Okay. So we've cleared out the dead. We've brought out the dead. The dead are brought. What's another upgrade going to cost us? Ooh, quite a lot. And money. It's in trading through the market, which we haven't built yet. So we can upgrade all of our storages. Let's definitely do that. Upgrade our granaries. Oh, man, we need so much more stone, dude. What else are we building that... Oh, all of these upgrades. That's what we're, that's what we're building. City is under attack. Gosh dang it. All right. We're going to send you guys, and you're going to protect against whatever these stupid corpses are. We have two minutes left until more bad guys. Yeah, they're going to tear that down. Stupid zombies. There's only one of them left. Ah, oh, brutal. We can't build a farm. Takes 25 seconds for each worker to produce two food, after which a worker carries food to a granary or a town hall. Interesting. Okay. Find corpses on city streets, but we don't have any streets. So is that a thing that we kind of flubbed up on? Or is anything a street? Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing how we've definitely not constructed things in the most optimal manner. Let's grab these resources that are just waiting to be picked up. There's so much food, dude. Got it. Our troops are under attack. One minute left. Grab the wood, and then we gotta head back to our town here. Uh, we need we need some walls. We need to just shortcut everything, build walls. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Trash. Build walls, not. Oh, we can do stone walls. Oh, that's kind of cool. We're gonna start with wood just because it'll be faster to produce. Then we'll come across and we'll hook over there. Yes, finish placing. F finish, finish placing. Click and hold. Double click. Okay. That's a little awkward. But fine. Okay, bring you guys in. Let's go ahead and set top priority for the wall. Yeah, this is a problem. We did not get to this quickly enough. Shoot. Oh, dear. Where is this going to leave us? Uh, we can we can get... Let's get some more swordsmen and a bunch more archers. We've got a ton of civilians just waiting to be made into willing soldiers. We'll set a waypoint over there. Get to building. Get to building. Maybe we need more builder's huts because we're definitely falling behind on our build queue. I, I'm, I'm still a little bit unclear as to what a builder's hut does. Plus one people live in each house in its radius. Interesting. So there is like some real city planning going on in here. Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah. There we go. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. 
Whoa, that's a lot of dudes. Uh, soldiers, all you guys, you're gonna have to be like front line of defense right there. <laughs> oh shoot, hold on, wait a minute, hold on. Lasers. <laughs> okay, that bought us some time. That was only five and we have 23 left. Oh, and look at this, all our guys have to walk all the way around our poorly planned city. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. And we're definitely low on lumber. Where, where, why is our lumber suffering so bad? Is it just because we've planned things out so poorly? All right. This should be fine. I should, should be, okay. Everyone go kill. <laughs> kill. <gasps> There we go. Have we, have we fended off the attack? We good? Let's bring these guys out. Uh, and just everything. You are now... All you guys are group three. You're gonna go fight over here. And then you are group two. And then you are group one. Group three, go kill. Oh, we could open the gates too. Let people walk a little bit faster. Yeah, these obelisk powers seem bonkers. <laughs> so what, 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 you're full, that's our problem. Okay, that's fine. We have 87 food per day. We are definitely consuming a lot of food. What does this mean? Can't reach the building, shoot. That's a bummer. Okay, mm. yeah. Whoa, what is this? What's that? Our units are in combat. You go get that, then that, then that. I do like, though, that they have enemies out in the field. It does create more meaningful moments when you are in between waves. Instead of purely focusing on your base, it lets you uh, it lets you kind of keep up to date on things. It, it creates all these different plates you have to juggle. So I, I do think it's a good thing. Okay. Let's move over here instead of all the way to that far corner. Looks like there's a, a civilization right there. And then we need to build... Oh, let's put a tower right there. Instead of repairing things, let's just finish tearing it down and build a tower there. We want a tower anyways. Our troops are under attack. Uh. We doing good, though? Everything fine? Yeah, I think we're fine. Workers can't reach these. Oh, man. Did we wall ourselves off over there? Oh, no. Let's build a gate. <laughs> All right, and you're at the top of the queue. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah I'm kind of curious about how the whole uh, zombie side of things is supposed to work here. Given that, like, you're killing stuff out in the wilderness, and they turn into zombies. So are you supposed, like, in an ideal circumstance... Are you supposed to be um, clearing up these bodies? Or are you kind of just supposed... Are they supposed to just turn into zombies and you fend them off? And it's kind of an in-between fight. I don't know the answer. Yeah, this is the first tutorial mission, by the way. We're an hour into this thing. This is a game that is an investment, and I get the impression with the way that the waves are really expanding, it's going to get incredibly satisfying as you continue to invest. Uh, I'm, I'm really curious what this... Yeah, bury... So it, it does tell us bury the dead over there, but it's for our own soldier, not for the bad guys, so I, I don't know. I'm really curious what like later levels look like here, right? 
Especially given the, the impact of that laser beam. I mean, that just seems like you just obliterate everything for free. <laughs> or at least for very cheaply. Okay. So now people can reach things again. That's good. Our troops are under attack. Uh, troops are detonating everything over here. We are at day 12, so the next day is when the next wave is going to arrive. We're doing fine on food. I just pieced together that red bar is how much is going to get consumed the next day. That, that's nice. That's nice. So we have yet to kill all the enemies in the area. Jeez, where, where are the rest of these dudes? Uh, we'll, we'll reset your waypoint just to be over there. Lumber mill. I think we can just delete you, right? Work target link. Oh, so you can retarget. Okay, great. That's kind of what I was hoping it was going to do. I feel like that can be more explicit. Maybe instead of work target link, it could be... Uh, you know, harvest point or something, you know? But it, it, it does the trick. Okay. This is the only area we have left to kind of uncover, except for this tiny little space here in this corner over here, which I don't think we actually can. Why have we not killed all the enemies in the area yet? Is there like one dude hanging out in here? All right, well, let's let's go clear out this space and see where that takes us, I guess. Let's upgrade our houses as well. Stop floating on all these resources. Upgrade our storage yards. I love the double click to select everything of a like type. That is such a good convention that they brought in. I'm so glad that exists. Um... How did I, okay, alt, right, 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 right. Okay, so this one's about to wrap up, but then we can go set the target link over there, and that'll be good. If they can reach it. <laughs> yeah, there's one line of space they can get through. <laughs> All right, we're, we're, we're not going to have time. Oh, wait, 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 there, 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 there they are. There they are. Get them. Get them. Is that everyone? Is that all the bad guys? Is there anyone else? Jeez. All right. Retreat. Head back into the base. Um, let's get a couple of you guys over there. A couple of you guys over there. Uh, a couple of... Uh, let's see. What, what, el what else can we build now? We, we really need stone. Do we have stone? Right. We do have stone. It's right there, but we have a house in front of it. So I'm curious when this dies... And it gets completely harvested. Is it going to destroy? And then we'll have like a space we can put, like get rid of the stone mine and build the iron mine over there. I don't know. Start filling up this one. Uh, let's build a stone tower right there and right there as well, because I get the feeling we're not going to have enough space for everyone. Enemy forces are approaching. Ooh, we are so far behind on building. Uh, okay. Make priority. Sorry, dude. Your house is going to have to be under construction for a little bit longer. So now we can start doing the market and better storage, a better granary. Uh, stoneworks, ironworks, eternal stone? Endless source of stone due to advanced engineering solutions. Cool. So that's when, like when you're in your endless runs and stuff. Oh, stables? What? Okay. Oh man, we'll get to that in a bit. I don't. I don't want to um, mess up the building order here. That is cool though. And an engineering guild there, we can start building the catapults and everything. Very cool. We do have a, also a very satisfying visual upgrade system in terms of um, the wood to the stone. Very different color palettes, but it feels harmonious. Well done. You can see there still is wood in there to tie things together. Uh, 
it, this is reminding me of old like Age of Empires and Civilization and stuff where it's really satisfying to set up your buildings and uh, completely upgrade everything to uh, the higher level. Okay. So we chased away our... Oh man, this is so bad. We were so close to finishing that. Let's just uh, get rid of all these guys, shall we? <laughs> Alright, they, they, they are not coming for us over here. So bring you guys over there. Let's also upgrade you, why not? Come on, keep building, keep building, keep building! Yes! Get in! Get in the tower! Good job! Good job, you guys! You're awesome! Wait, can you make it? No, we're, we're totally full up there. What are you doing? Get in here. And then when you get in, we're going to shut the gates. Are you getting hung up on berries? Come on. Shut the gates. Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, no! All right, I'm a little bit nervous about this. This is a lot of mans, and they are definitely hurting us. Melee guys are just seeming not tremendously helpful. I'm not going to lie. But I do think we're fending this off just fine. We're okay. We're going to move into the next day. Man, it's going for an hour. Going for an hour. Let's go ahead and speed up now. Uh, I don't know. Is there anything we really need to be upgrading? Uh, we can get a healer. Uh, axe warrior. Uh, honestly, I just want crossbowmen. It's kind of all I want. And then we need to get to that stone. Uh, is there any other stone available to us? I don't even know. Let's build the uh, the the stables. And the engineering guild would be rad to build, but we need the stone for that. We build a massive tower? Sure. Right there. Deal significant damage to a single target. And we're kind of at the point now where we've explored the map, right? I mean, we still have kill all enemies in the area. Let's just do an attack move for all of our troops over there. Let's see what they come up with. Uh, we'll open the gates. There we go. Pathing automatically updates. That's good. Well, it seems like it almost automatically updated. But we are masters of our domain here. Oh, and there's some stone over here. Ooh, do we risk it? <laughs> do we risk it for the biscuit? Or some iron, rather. Okay. It looks like we have a, a restriction on building on the edge of the map. That's reasonable, I guess. I like that it's communicated the way that it is. Good red lines. Is there going to be just like one dude hanging out in the canyon here? Just some old crazy prospector? Get away from my gold! Alright, we have explored everywhere here. Um, let's just do one last attack move on all the corners of the map. And just kind of explore and see what they find. Did I just... No, come on. Here, 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 here. We've got, like, two more days. All right, so we're just going to go sprawling across the map. We are getting our stone built up. Or, or, not our stone, our iron. We have our massive tower. Do we start upgrading walls and stuff? Oh, can we get horse archers? That sounds great. 
cavalry unit, mercenary from Gorgoth Empire. Seems like it's missing a the there. Well known for his mounted archery art. However, he can't be placed on defensive structures and doesn't have cavalry attack skill. Okay. Mounted knights. Whoa. Okay. It's a lot of a lot of stuff to keep on going. Let's see here. So we got them coming from up here. So let's go ahead and upgrade all these. Oh, you know what? We, we need to build a, uh, a a storehouse over here. Ready. Storage, because that's gonna take forever to get the stone the the iron back to us. Ready. All right, horse archers, you're gonna be our vanguard. This kill all enemies in the area objective is always very frustrating, right? You don't have to go look further than Diablo 2, the very first dungeon you dive into, and people's experiences with it to understand, yeah, this thing kind of sucks. <laughs> that it's, like, if, if you're just missing one dude, okay, now you have to just spread across everything trying to find that one thing. And it's, it's pretty frustrating. So I'm hoping that that's not what's happening here. Yeah, sure. I mean, we've already, like, completely ruined our architecture of this city. This is not a planned city in the slightest. I, I really want to know what that is. What is that? Is that where Cthulhu's sleeping? What's going on? All right, we've got our horse archers. Going to put that in group four. And we're, we're just going to have you guys run over here. Can we can we have a... Um, can't be thrown by an explosion. Interesting. Deal. In, okay, so you have a crit chance. I would love a... Um, Total War has this, a, an option where you can set your cavalry, a skirmish mode, where they will automatically run away from things that are getting close to them. I would, I would love to have that. And we're actually going to use one of these horse archers because you're going to be really fast. Go pick up these things that I did not pick up. Okay, we have some stone, or some iron. Let's upgrade that. Upgrade our tower over here. Upgrade you. How much do we need to upgrade here? A hundred iron! That's so much iron! Oh, boy. Start training a crossbowman. It's going to be your job. You're going to hold down the fort, buddy. Uh, this lumber mill is dead. We're just going to destroy it. We don't need it anymore. It's not doing any good for us. Oh, we can upgrade all the rest of our wooden walls, too. Nice. Love it. Uh, horse, you got what you needed to get. I don't think there's any other resources we left. We can run back over here. We have 30 seconds. 30 seconds for uh, these guys to be coming back in. Let's drop uh, our archers into our massive tower which is giving a 25% firing and observing range bonus. That's pretty huge. And then we're going to micro our, our horse archers just to absolute death. Hey. Oh, and the crossbowman, you, you get in there too. So you do, what, 15 damage compared to 5? Wow! And 0.4 attack speed, 0.65. So, so the archers attack a little bit faster, but the uh, crossbowman hits tremendously harder. Alright, can you attack while moving? No. Oh, that's a bummer. That makes them a lot less helpful. Uh, oh, no, and they're not going to be going to that tower! Shoot. Oh, no. Oh, no. Everyone, get in towers. Run away, run away. Bravely run away, away. Brave, 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 Sir Robin. Archers, kill things! Kill things! Exclaimed Jerry Seinfeld, I guess? Okay, we're gonna break that stone mill because it's not helping us anymore. The stone deposit is empty. Oh, we can't reach that. Shoot. Okay, we're gonna build a new stone mine. Can I build it right there? Not the right place for this building. What are you talking about? Oh, no! Shoot. All right. Uh, you run over here. You guys get over here. This is disastrously bad. Oh, this is so bad. Uh, I'm going to try and let them clump up a bit. Uh, 
get the archers away from. We have 11 archers here that definitely do not want to be in that fight. Um, swordsmen. Okay, and laser, go. <laughs> the problem is we can hit our own troops with this, right? <laughs> okay, we do have our archers over here. That's good. Get these guys in the gate. They're going to be knocking down our houses. Oh, that's so bad. That is so bad. Um, horse archers, go get behind them. Hammer and anvil, friends. Hammer and anvil. You guys, charge in. Okay, right on. I think we're going to be okay. We lost a house, but that might not actually be a terrible idea because now we can build the fountain and get three extra people. How much is this giving us? Eight? Uh, well, all right. Not, 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 not quite sufficient. So you need that fountain to hit like eight people to be worth it. Okay. Everyone go kill. And you, all of you go into that one. You guys head out. And then we can build a stone tower right there. Okay. Oh, kill all enemies in the area. We killed all enemies in the area. Great. We are all, all done. So we'll just kind of get everyone centralized a little bit until we know where the last wave is coming from. We're going to hit this on speed up time because I, I just, I don't know that we really need to do all that much. We're going to triple down on, on, uh, on these guys. Uh, lumber mill. I, I, I don't really think we need all that much more lumber to be honest, but uh, we do need a lot more food. So let's go ahead and build a berry picker's hut over here and over here, over, over, over here. Oh, we don't have enough people. Oh, because we're spending them all on military. Oh, dear. Uh, let's, let's <laughs> shoot. Yeah. Slowing trap. Oh, wow. Look at all this stuff that we get now. Okay, interesting. I, I don't know why we need the vision range because it tells us where they're coming from. Like, we, we kind of have very explicit vision range no matter what, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe that will change over time. Let's throw the market down right there so that we can maybe sell some of that wood, get some food, and we get three days. Let's keep prepping. I'm, I'm wary to upgrade anything else over here because we're kind of running low on stone I guess we don't have to be running low on stone we could build some stone mines but let's get some population going the people rebuild this house Lord. shall we feed them you may not have noticed but we are short of food the consequences are quite severe well I'm I'm trying that's what we're working on okay so we have the market a little awkward that we have this lone icon here to open up another menu, but I do understand why it exists. So we're going to trade you into you, and we, we need, like, a bunch of food. We need, like, yeah, let's get 100 food. There we go. Market opens after order completion. Okay, so it's going to take time. It's going to take a minute and 40 seconds, but we can also have it open up automatically when it's done. That's great, because I'm just realizing we haven't been doing, like, any research. Oh, no. Look at all this stuff we could have been doing. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, let's upgrade our crossbowmen. Wow, this is a big deal. I totally forgot about that. That's kind of an important one to make sure that the player maintains. Okay. Uh, this lumber mill we can destroy. That's not helping us at all. I think we have like a, a berry hut over here that isn't doing anything, right? What, what, what's the order for you? Hold on. We're going to pause real quick. Um, so glad that fast forward exists. Jeez. Berry picker to, pick to harvest one food, after which he carries food to a granary or a town hall. So, yeah, this is just for population. We don't really... It's it's a house. We don't need it to be near the berries. We can just tell them to harvest the berries over there. Okay. Great. 
so now we're getting the our market back. They're unloading the food. It's not immediate. That's kind of cute. We're going to buy some money. Wow, it is expensive. All right, let's get three money. I don't really even know what to do with that, but that's fine. We're in day 18. Uh, let's get a couple more crossbowmen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I, I do think we, we are going to want some more houses for sure. And I don't think the houses need to have access to anything, if, if I'm, like, reading this right. Okay. Research complete. Oh, wait, hold on. We have a bunch of notifications. Found a new fishing spot. Oh, find a new fishing spot. Because you're, because you're, uh, you're, you're all done. Great. Okay, we've, we've, we've overfished. Building a new builder's house nearby or, or increase working radius of existence. Oh, so the builder house needs to be nearby the buildings that it produces. Wow, okay, that's interesting. I, I'm i not gonna lie, I'd like a search function. <laughs> Where is the builder's house? Yeah, these are all fortifications. Fisherman's hut, berry picker's house, farm, which we haven't even like looked at yet. Iron mine, lumber mill, stone mine. Ah, builder's house. And you don't have a path? What are you talking about? All right, we'll delete that. Well, you can just come in through here, right? Oh, do you have to be flipped around? I bet that's it. I bet that's it. Okay. Gravedigger's house. Put you right there. So if, if the orientation matters, and I really want some sort of like arrow to indicate this is the front of the house, you got to make sure that they can reach this. That, that feels really important. Okay, so let's... Oh, we're so poor on everything. We need a lot of food. Let's get a bunch of food. Let's just buy the, buy the food with iron from yesterday. Uh, you're sick? We have a hospital. Go to the hospital. Why are you sick? Okay. I am feeling good. I think we're going to be able to fend off this last wave just fine. Let's keep cruising through it, though. They are attacking our citizens. They're attacking our citizens? Wait, who? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Freaking walking corpses. Okay. Um, you guys. Go murder eight. And then we got... Yeah, the, this whole thing? Man, I have not noticed this in ages. In absolute ages. Okay, we have build a hospital to win an epidemic. We do have a hospital. Um, we're building the builder's house. What? What? We we can't reach the the freaking town hall. What's blocking the town hall? Uh, that sounds bad. All right, whatever. Everything's fine. Look how fine everything is. Are under attack. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna chill on the market for a little bit. Oh, we got dudes coming in from the top and the bottom over here. Okay. Ooh, this is not a space we have fortified very much. Let's go ahead and do these two. And... Yeah, no, this is not, not going to go well. What are you guys shooting at? Kill. The enemy are preparing their final assault. Okay. Okay. Pause. So let's get everyone sorted out here. So swordsmen, you're gonna go right here. Archers, climb in. Uh, horse archers, we're gonna get you in the reserve, where you're gonna just come around the back, and then our crossbowmen, we're gonna throw you in the gate. Now, uh, once everyone is kind of out that needs to be out, we're going to shut the gates. Whoa, this is a, just a lot of people. That's not good. We just sent a bunch of people to their deaths. 
Wow, this is so many people. Uh, okay. Okay. We're going to let everyone group up. I have a plan. And the plan is laser beams. Pause. Okay, hold on. Normal speed. Laser beams are going to save this kingdom. <laughs> okay, everything's fine. Look, look. Oh dear, there's more waves. That's not good. Um, bring the swordsman out here. Uh, we've got so many people. Uh, let's get some axe warriors, because clearly we need uh, more individuals. Uh, we, we, we actually do need a front line. What are we even shooting at? Was that it? Was that the end? Oh, okay, great. <laughs> oh, man, this is really cool. Uh, that was the tutorial mission. The very first one, we killed 2,759 units. So, kind of they are billions, kind of old school RTS. I think there's a lot to really enjoy. Nice, satisfying panning screen on the ending. I like that we get to see how much we've killed. They know that that's, the, that's one of the big rewarding parts of a game like this, right? Jeez. This isn't even, like... Sandbox mode, endless mode, there's a campaign? I pressed, take me to the tutorial, at the very beginning of this. At the very beginning of this game! I told it! to take me to the tutorial, and it took me to that challenge screen. Oh, okay, um, hold on. We're gonna go to the main menu. I just did the first challenge. This isn't the tutorial mission, it's a challenge. Okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> this looks like a lot of fun. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. I hope you do too. Diplomacy is not an option. Link is down below, as always. Thank you so much to the developers of Diplomacy is not an option and for Lurkit for sending me this key. Uh, I've had a lot of fun. I've had a lot of fun. I think we have really clean UI. We talked about some interesting things about old school uh, patterns that are carrying through to things. There, there's a lot of interest here. So uh, definitely take this, study it, see how they do a lot of things. There's a lot of really clever language that they're bringing all through this. Um, I'm going to be spending a lot more time with it. I'm mean, spending a lot more time with diplomacy is not an option. So with that being said, thank you so much for hanging out. And as a reminder, Fox Hollow Games is a charitable enterprise helping people enter the game industry. So if you like game breakdowns, analyses like this, uh, we do daily game dev streams every workday. We do game jams. We're hosting a new jam starting soon. We have one every quarter, so be on the lookout for that. We'll catch you next time.